Hi, everybody. I'm Matt Trumbo. I'm our Software and Solutions Product Manager. I'm here today to talk about our advanced logging feature for the Aqua Troll 600 on the vSitu Android app. And so join along with me as we jump into the app here to walk through it. So from the app here, this is the connected instrument screen. We're going to click on logging. Load up all the logs that are currently on the instrument that I'm using. We're going to make a new log and see the new walkthroughs that we have for all the different logging modes. So let's use the default name for this log. We used our test location that we have here, just like before. So now we get into some of the new stuff, where you can actually pick which parameters you want to log, a, a highly requested, requested feature that we have here. So I'm going to not do pressure and turbidity. Um, how about not ORP as well here? And we'll click Next. Now it's going to ask us to set the level mode. So again, lots of people really wanting to be able to use their, their actual depth to water modes or elevations. So let's click on depth to water. I can even have it remind me to set, set a reference later when we're actually out on site. This is as though I'm, I'm setting it up at my desk. So let's click on that. On to the next. And another great new feature that we have here, dynamic density compensation, where if you've got a conductivity sensor, you can pair that with your level to actually automatically measure the differing specific gravity or just the weight of your water that you have based on the salt content that's in there. So automatic is the default on this one here, or you can pick a specific constant if you want. And I'm just going to click on Next. Of course, you can set your salinity compensation for dissolved oxygen. Again, we recommend automatic if you've got a conductivity sensor, like most of us do on the Aquatrol 600. And of course, you can set your total dissolved solid conversion factor. 0.65 is standard for salt water. Click on Next. And on to our PSS conversion factor. I'm not going to go into this. This is how you convert turbidity into total suspended solids. Um, it's a very complicated thing. We have, I'll point you to our website where we have a lot of really good application notes where you can look into how this gets set up. From here, we can pick all of our different logging methods. On the Aquatrol 600, we only do linear and linear average, but here for linear average, we have this neat diagram here where you can see exactly how many points you're pulling together, uh, how many minutes between each sample, and then the interval between each of the collections of samples here with this, this neat diagram that we have. On to next, and I can do a manual start, a scheduled start, um, and I can even turn off log wrapping on and off here. So I'm going to go ahead and do a manual start. And then we get this summary here that goes through everything that we selected, the units that we selected for each of our parameters, all the different settings that we have. And if I see something here that I don't like, I can actually just go right back in. Let's say, oh, I didn't mean to record battery capacity. I click right on this edit tool right over here come in and I can unselect battery capacity. Oh, uh, actually, I wanted RG RDO concentration to be in micrograms per liter as well. I can make those changes. And we bounce right back to the summary page here if something's not great. So uh, I'm going to hit Save. And now this log, as we go through, make sure that none of the sensors changed between when you were setting this up and when we're actually configuring all of these devices here. We can actually come through, and it will write this log to the instrument and be ready to go next time you go out into the field. So you see right here, this log is ready to start with that little symbol right next to your log there. And if we go back to the connected instrument page, it will also remind us that there's a pending log. This will actually gray out any of your instrument settings as well so that you don't change anything out from under that you specified in that walkthrough that we have. And it will remind you, start your log if you're out in the field. So that's all we had for today. If you'd like to see more, please check out the ViewSitu app on the Play Store. Um, that's where you can find this, and uh, happy logging.